Hey guys, day 11 of Autism Awareness Month, and today I want to discuss the real cost of autism. Not the stress and everything else, the emotional, that's a big part of um, raising children with autism, but the actual monetary costs. So studies have shown that raising a child from birth to 17 years old, so almost to adulthood, will cost a family about $233,000, an average across the nation in America. That's not including cost for college. But for someone with autism from birth through the end of their life, um, the cost is without an intellectual disability, almost $1.5 million. With an intellectual disability, the cost um, goes up almost another million from that. Uh, I think the latest, the latest numbers were about $2.3 million. So why is it so much more expensive to raise a child with autism, and especially one with an intellectual disability? There's a lot of reasons. For one, you have more appointments, you have more evaluations, you have therapy, a lot of therapies, which I'll cover in another video this month. All that adds up, more mileage on the cars, more time taken off from work. Up to 50% of families also have to reduce hours at work or quit working altogether. So you can lose one full working person in the house, which was our case. Once we decided that we were going to go through with evaluations, because we knew that they were autistic, and I knew that I was going to have to take them a lot of places, take them to therapy, to figure out the school schedules and all that, that I just decided that it, it'd work out best if I just didn't work. And then even if you are able to stay working, like one or both parents, um, it, it really, that, that extra cost of raising children with autism, um, it, you kind of have to figure out where financially it's a balance for you because if you make like just barely enough to get by and pay your bills, um, then maybe the children can get things like Medicaid and other assistance. And then on the other hand, if you're making a lot of money and you don't qualify for any services, if your state doesn't have waiver systems, if like they can't get Medicaid based on income and um, even with a disability, then you still like, can barely pay for therapy, which I've even heard doctors, two parents who are doctors um, with one child with autism, they say that they can't afford the therapy because they'd have to pay out of pocket or you know, even the co-pays are too much. Even if you're as high as like upper middle class, you may not be able to afford all of the therapies and services that the child needs. Um, unless you can get outside help. So yes, there's things like Medicaid. Um, I don't know about Medicare. We've never looked into that. I don't, I don't know that system. Um, there is an ability, depending on the severity of the disability, uh, to get SSI through Social Security. Um, there are waivers in certain states. I know that in some states, Parents can also pay themselves to be caregivers on a waiver system. That's not the case in Louisiana. Also for when the child gets older and they still need you to have guardianship over them, then you have to pay a lawyer to do that for you, to have a continued guardianship into adulthood for, for your children. And then after that, you also have to pay lawyers to set up wills and trusts and for the lifetime of your child if they aren't able to be self-sufficient. So there's a lot more money that goes into it, a lot more planning. I know that people see that number that, you know, is in the news almost yearly of like over $200,000 to raise a child to adulthood. And it's like, yeah, well, it's at least over a million to raise a child with autism and care for them. So I just thought those numbers were pretty staggering. <laughs> And so I wanted to share that with you guys. Till next time, guys. Bye.